Hello Python programmer. So you already saw the demo of the project that we are gonna create in this video. So there is no point in further explanation of the aim. Now the game that you saw in the demo was also created by me. I'll provide the source code and everything with the link in the description. Okay. For the game. For the game. For this test part, we have some more steps. We have some more setting and uh, everything. Okay. So first of all, let's see the system requirement for this project. What are the hardware and software things required to create this project? So first of all, let's see software. So you need to install Python, obviously. Once again, if you don't know, I provide the link in the description how to install Python and everything. Basically, how to set up Python. Then you have to install Arduino IDE. So let me show you. Arduino IDE. Once again, I'll provide this link also in the description. You can download this uh, IDE from there. Now, after you have installed these softwares on your system, let's see what are the hardware requirements. So, you need two things here. First is the Arduino Uno. This is the microcontroller or the brain that we are using to create this project. Then we have touch sensors. We need two sensors i'll provide the link of which one i bought now there is nothing like you have to buy that one only you can go and buy on a physical store if you want i'm providing the link so that the models and uh, everything are same okay now i'll also show you the connection of those sensors and microcontroller and we'll be doing that in a bit so let's come to the coding part so we need to write two codes first is the arduino uno code now I know I just told you that we are going to use Python to do everything, but this Arduino code will be used only once. Okay, you just have to write this code and upload this code on your Arduino Uno. After that, all the controlling and everything will be done through your Python code. Okay, all the reading of data and uh, the keyboard control will be done using your Python program, but the initial uploading of the code will be done using Arduino. Okay. Okay, so this is the code. It's pretty simple. I've also explained to this code while I was creating the basic sensor video series. Now, if you guys don't know that, I have a special series where I discuss multiple Arduino sensors that we can use with Python. And in that series only, I told you that I will be creating a special project series where I'll use these sensors to create actual projects. And this is just the first video. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. We have so many projects, so many advanced projects coming in the future. Okay, so let me explain you this code real quick. So for now, just understand one thing that we are connecting the sensors in two pins. Okay, on 8th input and on ninth input. Okay, so first of all, we are setting up our Arduino Uno. So Pin mode 8 is the input. Okay, so we need to write uh, two inputs here 8 and 9. So let me do that real quick. So we are taking two input from the digital input 8 and from digital input 9. Don't worry, I'll show you the connection in just a bit. Then we have serial begin at 9600, and this is the void loop or the loop where the code is written. Okay, so if digital read 8, okay, so we are reading the digital input 8 pin and if it's high or if we have touched the sensor if the sensor returns true value then we'll serial print in left okay this is the text that we'll extract in our python program okay this is the code that we are uploading on our arduino uno and this is the text that we'll extract in our python program and use in a python program to, to check that which sensor is touched right we have two sensors we can also use multiple sensors here. okay then we are adding a delay of 70 units okay it will be a very short uh, delay i guess 70 is the nanosecond here i don't know exactly then we are doing the same from the na uh, for the ninth pin also this will be for the right side okay this sensor will be used for uh, left click and this one will be used for right click okay so this was the arduino code we require for this project now let me show you the connection real quick okay so let's do the connection real quick so we need these components 
as I've told you first is the Arduino Uno I provide the link to buy in the description okay then we have these touch sensors I provide the link for them also in the description let me focus okay so and uh, we also need some connecting wires these are the jumper wires so let's do the connection real quick now the touch sensor has uh, these three pins let me try and focus it okay so the first is the SIG this will be connected to the digital pin then we have VCC this is the power input and then we have ground okay so this will be connected to ground net now let's uh, connect the jumper wires real quick now all the other jumper wires are pretty simple but as we have only one power output in our Arduino Uno we have to do some jugad. so just look at this uh, jumper wire that I have connected so these are the two female pins and this is one male pin okay this will be connected to your uh, Arduino Uno and uh, these two will be connected to our touch sensor to give them the power input okay so let me connect one of them to the touch sensor okay so you will do the exact same for the second touch sensor also okay just remember this the first one is the red one the middle one is green and the last one is blue okay or what you can remember is the digital input is red the VCC is green okay so let me focus that again now come on Motorola cameras focus it okay uh, the green one is VCC and the blue one is ground okay so let's connect them to our Arduino Uno so the blue one was ground so where is ground let me turn this there you can see this is the ground uh, we have two ground so there is no problem with that we can connect the ground for uh, both the touch sensors then the green one which was further split into this uh, blue and yellow was uh, the power input so just the adjacent of ground you will find the 5 volt input okay you will find the 5 volt input so let's connect to that 5 volt input there you go after that the last which is your red wire is your uh, digital input which will go to uh, eighth or ninth whichever touch uh, pad you want it to be so let's connect this to eighth and uh, we'll do the same for the other touch sensor this is uh, for the power input and uh, this is the second ground just uh, adjacent to this ground okay and this is the ninth digital input okay so this was the connection part now let's get to the computer so that we can see the program okay so we are done with the connection now let's go to our python program real quick okay so this is the python program okay so let me explain you this so we need three libraries here these two comes pre installed we have to install this spy or gui so uh, open cmg i forgot to mention that in the prerequisites part so pip install pi auto gui press enter and this packet will be installed for you for me this is already installed so this is why it's saying that uh, requirements already satisfied okay uh, let's close this okay let's close this so first of all we have to set up the serial communication okay so for that we are using the serial package okay and one more thing for some people they may encounter some error like serial is not identified so for that error i'll provide a solution link in the description okay it's a very common error it's due to the version of pi serial okay i'll provide the link in the description so anyway so serial dot serial 
make sure that this s is capital make sure that you are writing the spellings correct com3 this is uh, the com or the port on which your arduino uno is connected okay so let me connect that real quick and show you how you can check the port okay so you just plug in your arduino uno then open your id go to tools and then here you can see port okay here it is written com3 whatever it is written in your id simply write it over here okay then 9800 timeout is equal to 1 okay then time dot sleep we are giving it a 2 seconds sleep or 2 units sleep then we are creating a for loop 6000 time this is just a random number you can also add a exit condition if you want then line is equal to ser this variable the class instance for a serial dot read lines dot decode utf8 okay so the data coming is encoded we need to uh, decode it with utf8 encoding okay so this line is having the data what data this left or right data okay there are three values which can possibly be coming first is uh, left then we have right and then we have blank value when there is no uh, sensors touched okay so uh okay so if line is equal to empty then we have to print uh, no touch okay we won't be adding any delay here then else if there is some input if str of line one okay this is just for simplicity if it is left then at the first index it's e right l e f t at the first index it's e so what we'll do is we'll use a pi auto gy library now this is a very handy library it lets you automate your keyboards uh, keyboard keys it lets you uh, automate your mouse keys i have created a separate video for this pi auto gui library it's really fun you should check that out so pi auto gui dot key down this is uh, when we press the key okay left then pi auto gui dot key up when we release the key okay uh, don't add any time delay here especially between key down and key up otherwise you won't be able to play the game the player will just bash on the uh, sidelines okay so don't do that and uh, lf str line 1 is equal to i r i g h t i is in between okay so pi to gui dot key down right pi to gui dot key up right okay sir dot close or we are closing our serial communication okay so pretty simple i guess and uh, it was meant to be very uh, simple because this is the first project video that we are creating with uh, arduino plus python playlist now there are multiple uh, videos coming i'll be adding to this basic project okay i'll be adding a keypad to it i'll be adding a joystick to it i'll be improving the sensitivity and everything so we'll be creating a modern uh, game controller with this now I know I'm not a expert in hardware, so I don't know how good I can create the hardware part of uh, this game controller, but I'm pretty sure I can create a good sensor system. Okay, so yep, this was it. This was a short video in which I have shown you that how you can create your own game controller using Python. So, meet you in my next lecture. Bye bye.